So at the bottom of the screen, let's go ahead and add a new tab. And we're going to rename this one after high school. After high school, so pause it, make your tab. Okay, so back to the data table, the raw data. There's this column here that says K after high school. I'm going to change the filter to sort it A to Z alphabetically. So after high school, some people plan to go to college. Some people have no clue. All right, so I kind of have an idea. So in A1, I'm going to type plans after high school. Some people plan to go to college. Some people have, have no clue. And let's go start getting some data. So the number of people that said they plan to go to college, 72. 72. Number of people that said they have no clue. And again, I'm holding down shift arrow down. And there are 38 I have no clues. Up next was join the military. And the number of people that said join the military, 10. Grade school. Great uh, trade school, that would be six. And just straight to the workforce, no college. And the answer for that one is six. So fill out your data table. Once you filled out your data table, I'm gonna make that bigger so I can see it. Once you filled out your data table, come back to the meet. I'm sorry, come back to this video. And here we go. I'm going to select highlight A1 through B1, so the title is selected. I'm going to merge A1 through B1 so it's one long cell, and center it. While that's still selected, I'm going to hold down Shift and select all that entire data table. Insert, chart. By default, it gives me a pie chart. I don't actually think this looks good as a pie chart. I think it looks better as a column chart, so I'm switching it over to a column chart. I'm going to move it over so I can see things better. A better title would just be plans after high school. And while it's still selected, I am going to click on any one of the bars, pick a different color, so they're all one color, and then whichever bar represents me, so on my bar would be college, I plan to go to college, change that one to a slightly different color so it kind of stands out from all the others. And then again, with them all selected, I would like to see the data labels, so do put the data labels on. If you want to go back to chart style and add a background color, you can. Um, some people like that 3D effect. That's great. But this is what we need for the chart for plans after high school. We're actually going to add another data table to this sheet. So I'd like you to make this chart smaller. So try not to let it go past row 12. Try not to let it go past row 12. And we're actually going to add another data table. So this data table down here at the bottom is going to be um, number of kids. So one of the questions on the survey earlier this week was asking you, how many kids do you think you want right now? So that's column L. I'm going to sort column L alphabetically. And several people put none. Some people put more than five. And then there's goes down to one, two, three, four, five. So again, some people put none. So I'm going to put none. Some people put one, two, three, four, five, and more than Five. I just need to go get those numbers. And once you found the numbers, fill in the table. A lot of people think they want two kids. That would be 114. I'm sorry, I have it set to sum. I don't want to sum, I want to count. Sorry, count 57. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. Count with 57, sorry about that. Data, back to number three. Count 26. And I already know these are five. And then the number of people that clicked none. 22. None, 22. So again, we're gonna select, highlight the title, merge, Center, make sure your data table is filled in. If you need assistance, pause the video. Otherwise, let's go make our chart. Insert, chart. 
All right, so something weird happened. It doesn't know what to do with this 22 versus none. It doesn't know what to do with this 22 versus none. So notice down here, there's no option for none. It does, you know, it's got the one, two, three, four, five, more than five, but there's no none. So it's confused. I'm going to delete this chart, change this none to a zero, and now let's see what happens. Insert chart. There it works now. So people that want zero kids, one, two, three, four, five, and more than five. So again, make sure your chart makes sense and does like mine just did. Otherwise, rename it to like number of kids people want or number of kids. Make sure you pick a color that's not the same color as everything else. If you want to tell me how many kids you think you might want, change that color to a slightly different color. That's perfectly fine. If you want to change and add a background color, go ahead. 3D, I like the 3D, but I do, sorry, on the series, I do want to see the data labels. And that's it for the after school tab.